What's up, you guys? So Monique Samuels, who has kind of been missing in action lately, she actually got on live and talked about the latest rumors about her. It was a Q&A type of live. And you guys remember there was this rumor that Monique Samuels was going to be joining Traders, but that her offer was rescinded when Candace wasn't able to do the show because Candace is pregnant. So it made it seem like the only reason she was offered the show was because Bravo slash P Cox slash NBC Universal wanted to see her go back and forth with Candace. Now that is so messy considering that they had a physical altercation. Like it's beyond messy at this point. But Monique finally addressed the issue. First, she made a post. This was about three weeks ago. She made a post and said, neither a traitor or a faithful. Sorry to disappoint, but the rumors are not true. WTF. I love y'all though, and I do love the show. Catch me weekdays where I'm actually am daily, where she does her daily show. And then someone asked her, would she do it? Because the rumor was very strong and very specific that she was going to be on the show. But once Candace decided not to do the show, they didn't want Monique anymore. And so Monique responded to the question and she said, I actually consider it considered it but later declined so in this live she explains why she declined it and according to her it had nothing to do with candace Um, would actually happen on traders. All right, y'all want to know the tea? Y'all want to know what went down with traders? All right, here it is. All right, let me make sure. Um, okay, all right, so here's what happened with the traders. Um, I considered doing the show, I was really excited about it. Number one, let me let me back up and just say that I didn't realize that the traders was like NBC Universal. I don't watch TV. So when the opportunity came about, my manager reached out and was like, Hey, would you want to do the traders? And I'm like, What is it? Uh, oh, it's like a competition challenge kind of show and, you know, like Fear Factor meets Mind Games and this, that, and that. I was like, oh, that sounds fun. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm interested. Put my name in it. So then I started watching all the old episodes. Then I realized like, oh, this is NBC Universal. Oh, they have Housewives on here. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Um, but then, but then still I was down. So, uh, I heard that they wanted me to be on the show. I said, okay, let's do it. We started talking numbers. I was like, you know, for me to go away for that period of time, I need to make sure the money's good. And I also need to make sure, because I have children, I have three kids, and I have a home, and I have a dog, and I have a parrot. Um, so I'm like, I got to make sure that it makes sense for me to leave my job for a whole month or however long. It needs to make sense, right? So that was one concern. Then you know how it is with reality TV stuff. It is always last minute. You know, they act like you don't have a life outside of whatever it is they're trying to do. And I just was like, you know what? They're taking too long. If they don't come back with something really soon and respond to whatever, um, you know, raising their offer and give me some better numbers, then I'm not going to be able to do it. And that's pretty much what happened. But then on the back end, I heard about some shady stuff that was going on. So apparently they were trying to put me and Candace from RHOP on the traders at the same time. I didn't know that she was pregnant. I didn't know that she was supposed to be on the show. And the only reason that I found out is because my manager is well connected and we started finding out all of this stuff. And I'm like, first of all, that's low down to try to put a pregnant woman in that position. That's jacked up. Number one, second of all, I don't even know why a person that's pregnant would even do that show or want to do that show because it's a lot of physical challenges and stuff in there. So I thought that was weird. Um, but regardless, I'm like, why would you try to take something from a totally different show and try to make it something that could potentially be very nasty? When I watched the first and second season of The Traders and I watched the other Traders, like Traders UK, all of that, it wasn't about their personal lives. It was more about... Um, just the show in itself. And if you get picked as a traitor and if you're faithful and all of that, and I thought that was so much fun. I actually was really excited about the, uh, the opportunity and being able to do the show. Um, but once I started finding out all of the shady shenanigans that were also going on behind the scenes and they couldn't afford me. So I was just like, I'm not doing this. 
And then once I found out about all the shady stuff that was going on, I was like, you know what? Let them know that I decline not only this season, but every other season. Like, I'm not doing it at all now because now you turned me off. And that is what you call boundaries. And that's what I now have. And I love that. I love that I don't have to do stuff. <laughs> you know, I don't feel obligated to do anything that I'm not excited about. So that took the excitement away because it was almost like y'all were trying to be shady and set things up. Um... In a way that was just like, because when you get there, you don't know who else is going to be there until you land. Um, so I thought that was really like low down, especially because everybody knows that that situation is very sensitive. And I highly doubt that if it was two white women that from from another like housewife show, I highly doubt that they would put them in that position. So you ain't going to be doing us black queens like that. Like, I don't care whatever they think might have happened behind the scenes or in front of the scenes when it came to that situation. That's what I'm not about to do. Not at this day and age and this time in my life. So I was like, nope, ain't going down. Not going to do it. You're not about to have black women on TV looking crazy. Not at my, not on my watch ever again. <laughs> so that's my position on that. And that's actually what went down. So it was like a double-edged sword. Number one, they couldn't afford me. And number two, um, they were trying some shady stuff, which made me say, I'm not ever doing that show. So, and it would have been really cool because I do like stuff like, I do like stuff like that. Like I love like challenges and like mind games and all of that, trying to figure things out. And, you know, so I thought that would have been like a fun opportunity and I was down for it. And so they came with the mess. So I don't deal with the mess. So they, if they still ain't figured it out, they're going to find out now. So, yeah. Um, so that was the story on that. Uh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm protecting my peace. Um, All right, you guys, so leave a comment and let me know what you think about Peacock Bravo not wanting to pay Monique what she feels that she's worth. Considering that they did pay Phaedra and other housewives, Phaedra's been on the show, Sheree's been on the show, a lot of other housewives have been on the show and they got paid what they believe what they were worth. But what do you think about them not wanting to pay Monique what she feels that she's worth and her backing away from the show because of that? Do you think she was asking for an outrageous amount or do you think they were trying to lowball her? Leave a comment and share your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching.